Hello, my YouTube chums! Lord Fortescue here, and today I'm playing Nathan, or Nate Drake, in the PlayStation 4's runaway hit of 2016, Uncharted 4. And indeed, sales really were off the charts. Right from the off, I'm in at the deep end. Here I am on the high seas with my brother Sam. We're having a whale of a time, but thankfully there are no actual whales in sight uh, so far. The harpoons at the ready? <laughs> what? <laughs> or wasn't it Mr. Toad from the Wind in the Willows who said, there's absolutely nothing half so worth doing as simply messing around in boats? Well, perhaps he had more tranquil times in mind. But never mind, I've attached my old sea legs, waved off the landlubber within, and dusted down my trusty musket. Jolly me, Rogers! I'm engaging in some crossfire with this bunch of baddies. Oh, feel my flack, my fearsome foes. How about a bit of lead down your gullet, you marauding marine miscreant? Oh, eat my metal projectiles, you deep end devils. I'm writing you all love letters in lead, you nautical naughties. <laughs> oh, didn't you know I used to be a doctor? You certainly had some of my medicine, my lead medicine. <laughs> I appear to have zoomed back in time, and now I'm a young Nathan Drake. I'm at school, sort of, St Francis's Orphanage, but I'm determined to get out for the evening. I've been in a ruckus with my chums, and I'm on lockdown for it. No. This takes me back to old Fortescue School for Boys, founded by my great-great-great-great-great-grandfather. We boys became junior masters of stealth when we used to slip out unnoticed to Tufty Turner's tuck shop. Now, the secret of stealth is to think oneself part of one's surroundings. So, one thinks, I am the wall, uh, for instance. Here, I am uh, the back of the sofa. Now, a little commando roll, and I am out. Oh, the sweet smell of evening air. A little shimmying here, a little jump there. As uh, luck would have it, I'm a master of parkour, a skill I honed on the turret and flying buttresses of Fortescue Towers. On one particularly memorable occasion, Winston and I rolled across the conservatory roof, landed in the flower beds, and finally took a bow, <laughs> much to the amusement of Lady Fortescue. <laughs> uh, now, dear friends, brace yourselves for my French pronunciation for a little parkour talk. All right, la du déplacement. <laughs> Time for a little speed jump up here. There we go, and again. Oh, sort de precision, <laughs> and I am down. Hmm. Hello, Sam. Pause in awe to admire my passmon. <laughs> it won't be perfect, but the occasional fall is par for the course in parkour. <laughs> What's that you say, Sam? Me to Demetor? Demetor is my middle name. <laughs> Equilibre. Oh. A motorbike? Oh, I will have a motorbike. There is no chance whatsoever that riding it will send me into a strange mood. You can trust me. No problem whatsoever. Oh, now I've lurched forward in time. And would you believe it, I'm on lockdown again. I'm participating in a Panamanian punch-up. As luck would have it, I can draw upon my recent experiences with the, the Yakuza. Right, my old bullet-headed buddy. Let's see what you're made of. Are you just a cell warrior? Only brave from the safety of your cell? Oh, no, I, I see that's, that's not the case. Um, oh. Damn it. Oh, well, when I, when I break free from this, I'm going to chin-check you. Oh, yeah, I'm going to chin-check you. And, and then I'm going to rope-a-dope you. I'm going to rope-a-dope you. <laughs> uh, uh, do you want to drink, my mustachioed amigo? You do? Well, here's some punch. <laughs> that fight was a big trick, so I'll be taken to see the governor. I'm really being led to a secret exit from whence I'll seek some treasure. Nobody must suspect a thing, so time to pose like a proper prisoner, doing the swaggering prison strut. In other words, time to act hard. Hard. No, oh, hello. How are you in those little cells? I oh, won't know. They're cruelly compact and bijou. Oh, God, nearly blew it there. To think like an inmate. 
Oh, I'm sick of these screws. That's a British slang term for prison guards, thinking they can boss me about. <laughs> it looked awfully cosy in those offices. Did they have tea-making facilities? Oh, damn it, forgot again. What a lovely view. I must bring Lady F here. She would just love the panoramic paradise. This could be turned into a lovely little resort. We could redeem the prisoners by having them perform theatrical entertainments. Oh, it was certainly rehabilitate the hardened underclasses and solve all of society's ills, I imagine. No puzzles, eh? Well, puzzles certainly appeal to the mighty bobbity brain box. <laughs> let's, let's have a look then. Uh, yes, uh, the Roman, Roman numeral puzzle. Uh, well, uh, well, a puzzle for others, perhaps, not for Fortescue. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Dear, dear, quite a conundrum. <laughs> a perfect poser. Now, what's the ruddy answer? Oh, I've worked it out. Oh, no problem there whatsoever. I certainly didn't need any kind of hint from the computer, and there was no editing involved whatsoever. Fortescue works it out once again. And back to this splendid spectacle, as I went my way back to my corrupt chum. Slide down here and jump, no problem whatsoever! If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, tell your chums, like me. Until next time, this is Lord Fortescue saying, Toodle Pipsy, my fellow adventurers!